Good evening, everybody. This is the Cruiser Chris World Network, and today we're going to talk about a very, very serious topic. But before we get started, I feel that for those who may be bothered by this, or may be slightly disturbed by this, that I tell you that the video is going to be about bullying. So if you would like to um, take a minute and gather yourselves, we will wait um, a minute for you to pause the video so that you can compose yourself. All right, and so we begin. As I said earlier, this is the Cruiser Chris World Network, and we are here tonight to talk about bullying. There are several different forms of bullying. There's a spoken form of bullying which you can see on um, some push to talk um, walkie talkie apps um, that have people on it that do not know how to handle themselves responsibly. Um, there's also a written form of bullying that can exist out there on uh, social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever other social media you may use. Bullying is wrong because it hurts people internally and may cause them to commit uh, acts such as self-harm or cutting or other self-destructive acts. We need to be a society that accepts everyone for who they are, no matter whether they have a physical disability like me, or a mental disability, or no matter what skin color they are, whether they can speak English or not whether they're from the United States or not, or whatever country they're from, we need to accept everybody with open arms. Bullying leads to um, depression. It can re uh, really... Uh, lead to heightened anxiety. It can relate uh, to suicidal ideations. And in other words, it makes people think that they are worthless, which they're not. Um, but if you are feeling these feelings, I want you to do the following. Um, pray to God if you believe in Him and ask 
for guidance and forgiveness for the people who are bullying you because they know not what they do and they don't know how to be appropriate and be kind and treat people well. People that bully other people because of how they look or how they sound or how they talk or what they may say or what they believe or because of who they choose to have relationships with and friendships with are very, very, very sick-minded individuals. It is very sad that these types of individuals have to resort to such a, a low pattern of behavior, but we cannot control what they do. And for the people that would bully people, I cannot express in words how angry this makes me. Because we are all human beings. Some of us may look different some of us may act different. Some of us may talk different. Some of us may think different. But because, just because we do all things differently than what you might do them doesn't give you the right to bully us. And if you choose to bully us, there will be a special place for you to go. Um, after your life is over on this planet. You're not going to have many friends if you bully other people. And you may end up in legal trouble because you've chosen to bully somebody or abuse somebody. If somebody chooses to abuse me, there are charges that can be brought by authorities, depending on how severe the abuse is. Because I'm classified as a vulnerable adult. And I have no problem saying that because I'm very open on this channel. So the people who would want to bully another person with a physical or mental disability, you are very sick individuals, number one. There will be a very special place for you after this earthly life is over for you. And you better be very careful because I would encourage anybody who is disabled or anybody who may look different than um, the average person and they get bullied to bring it to the authorities so that the people that do bully other people finally get what they deserve and that's to be charged and fully prosecuted to the highest extent so that they are forced to either go to prison or, or um, pay a hefty fine for what they have done to people because there's no absolutely no reason 
that somebody should have to deal with being bullied or being the target of exploitation by someone who doesn't have the brain power to figure out that the kind of behavior that they're engaging in is the wrong kind of behavior. So if you're a bully, be honest with yourself. Say yes, I've made the mistake of being a bully in the past. Or maybe I've slipped and I just recently made the mistake of being a bully uh, recently again. My best advice to a bully is stop what you're doing because it does cause physical and emotional harm to someone. And if you are a bully, seek help for yourself because you can do better than what you're doing right now. And deep down, you know that you can do better than what you're doing right now. There's just something deep down that is making you feel like you have to do bullying behaviors. Reach out, seek help, and make yourself a better person. For those that are victims of bullies, my thoughts and prayers are with you every day because I have been a victim of taunting and bullying and other forms of exploitation in my past and I know how it feels and I'm extremely sorry that you have to go through it. But just because you have to go through it doesn't mean that you have to cause harm to yourself or harm others because you've been bullied. If you are feeling suicidal because of the fact that you have been bullied, I want you to know that there are resources out there to help you. One of the resources it one of the resources is the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. That number is 1-800-273-8255. That number again is one 800 273-8255 and they have crisis professionals available 24 hours a day, seven days a week that will be able to help you either get you stabled into a situation that you're in right now or be able to get help to you so that we can get some help to you before you do anything that would cause you to harm yourself. We want you to also know that there is a text line that you can text the word hello to and it goes right into the same center. The text numbers are 741741 and the keyword is hello. So if any, if at any time of the day you feel like you want to cause yourself harm uh, because of bullying, 
we're going to leave the number in the description that you can call and we would encourage you to call that number and reach out for help before it becomes a crisis situation so that the appropriate authorities can get help to you. So, to summarize, bullying is wrong. Bullying should not happen. If you see bullying, here's what you can do. If you're in a high school, middle school, or elementary school type situation, don't engage directly with the bully if you feel endangered. If you see bullying in either one of the situations that I just mentioned, you can go find an adult, teacher, or assistant principal, or maybe even a school liaison officer, if your school has them, and report it so that it can be stopped right away before it becomes a dire situation. If you are in a situation where you're a vulnerable adult being bullied, depending on where you are, whether you're at a day program and you work at a day program and you feel like you're being bullied by a day, uh, by either a client or another staff member at that day program. You have the rights to have your grievances heard. Reach out to a program director or another staff member and they will be able to guide you as to how to deal with that situation. If you feel like you're being bullied by a PCA or a direct caregiver, you do have the right to contact your county worker and let them know what's going on. You can also contact the PCA company or whatever service company you're receiving services through, whether it be ARM or ILS or PCA. Go ahead and contact the company and let them know what's going on so that they will be able to help you. And finally, if that doesn't help you, you do also have the ability to make a report to adult protection. And I don't know if there's a national number to get to adult protection but we will do some research on that and we'll put that number in. But if you call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline and you say that you're being bullied by a PCA or another direct caregiver, they will ask you what state you live in and they will be able to give you the local adult protection number. This is serious business, ladies and gentlemen. Too many people have chosen to take their lives due to bullying. We need to stop this kind of behavior. We need to welcome people of all kinds into our groups. And we need to lift each other up and be positive with each other and help each other 
because we're all here to obtain the same goal and that goal is to have the best life that we possibly can. I would like to thank my producer, Hannah Hawkins, who is sitting directly next to me. Thank you for everybody who chose to watch this video. We hope that it's helpful and don't be afraid to reach out if you feel like you need help. Thank you everybody. Have a good night and we will see you next time.